Winter landscapes are a blast to modify and process in the editing room. And with On One Photo Raw, you can easily get creative with your winter landscape photography. From complete control over weather overlays such as fog, snow, and rain, as well as frost-like borders and textures, it's incredibly easy to take your winter landscapes to the next level. Let's give our landscape here a cinematic feel by incorporating a frosty border, some foggy snow, and a color grading LUT. Inside of Photo Raw, let's first crop the image and rotate it a bit to make sure everything is straight and level. After cropping, let's head into the tone and color pane to darken the image's exposure down a bit. I think around one stop or so. That way we can tame these bright areas in the snowy trees. Now let's ensure the image pops a bit with a little bit of contrast. Around 25. From there, let's reveal some of the darker areas of the scene by pulling up on the shadow slider to around 6. We lowered the exposure and removed some highlights so without some white, the image may look flat. Let's pull up on the white slider up to around 20 or so. The image's basic look is awesome right now, so let's head into the local adjustment tab to bring some light into the shadowed areas of the scene where the sun isn't shining onto it. To do this, I'm going to pull up on the contrast slider up to around 25. And I'm also going to pull up on the white slider to around 80. And now I'll just use my local adjustment brush set to around 50% opacity to paint this adjustment into those specific areas in my photo. With that white slider modified, that's going to help brighten up the areas and keep the look consistent with the other areas surrounding it. And that contrast slider is going to ensure that things in the scene don't get too bright. Now to match things up even more, let's also warm things up by modifying the temperature a bit. So in that local adjustment, I'll just use that temperature slider to warm things up to around 10. So now if I turn this adjustment off and on, it's doing a really great job of just matching up the lighting in that particular area on the scene. Let's now style the image with some detail, glow, a border, and some snowy weather. I'll head into the effects tab and I'll add a filter. In the add filter dialog, I'll use the apply with mask menu to enable the architecture option. This will apply the mask to the building in the scene when we select a filter. I'll choose the dynamic contrast filter, which is the perfect filter for incorporating detail into our photo. And I'll use this surreal preset to bring in lots of textures into that building. Now let's bring in a soft glow into the snowy areas in the scene to make them a bit more dreamy. I'll add another filter and this time I'll use the glow filter. And in the glow filter, one of my all time favorite looks is this darker preset. I love what it does to the snow, but it's a little bit too intense on those shadowed areas in the photo. I can easily fix this by heading into the masking options of the glow filter and choosing lumen. This will create a luminosity mask that will target the brighter areas in the scene and protect the darker areas from the glow. After the glow filter, let's use the weather filter to incorporate some snow and some fog into the scene. In this filter, I'll use the texture menu to choose blizzard, which is a great snowy overlay for scenes like this. And then I'll head down below that and I'll increase that opacity to 100 so that we can see all of that snow. Let's now head down into the fog section of the filter and let's bring in a bit of fog into the landscape. With the position menu, I'll choose all. That way we can see the fog in the entirety of our photo. Let's now increase the amount to around 25 or so. So with our fog and snow in the scene, let's add on a creative border to give the image the appearance of looking through a frosty window. So let's head into the add filter option. I'll add the borders filter and let's use that category menu to choose emulsion. I love the emulsion category for adding on a frosty appearance to the edges, especially this emulsion for one. I'm loving the frost like feel it's giving the photograph. And if you're looking for more creative add-ons such as borders or textures like this, 
head over to our creative library on our website. It is full of free creative assets to bring any image that you have to life. So back in Photo Raw, our scene is looking great. Let's just add one last filter to top it off. And let's add the LUTs filter. This will give it a nice cinematic color grading feel. So the default look for the LUT is actually perfect for this scene, but I wanna give the image a bit more contrast. So let's pull up on this handy contrast slider here, and this will ensure things are detailed and they pop within the scene. Let's check in with the before and the after. And I'm really loving it, it's looking awesome. So that's how easy it is to create a cinematic winter landscape instead of On One Photo Raw.